based on the 1990 Oscar-winning movie that captured the hearts and imaginations of a generation, Ghost the Musical makes its Midlands premiere at Wolverhampton Grand Theatre in June. The smash hit musical kicked off its UK tour at Wales Millennium Centre in Cardiff last week and Express and Star were invited backstage to see how this technically complex production comes alive. The majority of our set is uh, automated, um, so obviously you've still got your traditional elements of scenery, but because the scene changes are so speedy, because they're so big and complex, and they're very quick as well, um, a lot of the scenery is automated. So here you can see um, all of the automation racks, these control winches that are in the floor. Uh, you'd normally find on a show that you would use in-house flying, um, and we do do that, but because, again, because it is so big and it's so complex, um, all of our scenery is suspended from this truss up here, um, so that weighs 21 tonnes. While the film used special effects, Ghost the Musical features 10 stage illusions, making it one of the most complex productions to ever tour the UK. My job is to make sure that the illusions which have been created by our illusionist uh, are set up and maintained and they happen correctly. Um, there's very little margin for error of the illusions. They're very specific um, and you know they can be affected by any number of things. So trying to make sure that we kind of give the audience that magical experience is, uh, is a nice, fun challenge for us. The show is transported by 10 articulated lorries which carry five miles of cable, seven LED walls, five projectors and over 172,000 individual LED pixels. Directly up above you you will see all of the automated pieces of scenery um, that we're talking about. And Ghost is obviously very reliant on its special effect, its illusions and its magic. So one minute we're in a deserted street, we're in a cafe, we're in a bank, we're in an apartment, or we show these amazing sweeping views of the New York skyline. It's a show that really kind of has that traditional element of, of a traditional set but also uses video and technology. There are 217 costumes, 112 pairs of shoes and some 58 wigs for 22 cast members. Um, this is one of the um, American paramedic outfits uh, worn by one of our ensemble who uh, is, comes on as a paramedic. Um, there's also a series of, of hospital gowns um, and all of these are, are real um, hospital gowns that were sourced from medical suppliers. The quickest quick change that we have in the show is six seconds. The score is completely new with music written by Eurythmics' Dave Stewart and lyrics by Glenn Ballard. This is what we call um, Prompt Corner. So this is where the deputy stage manager will sit during the show um, and they will follow the script um, and the score of the show. They have a, a series of cue lights here as well so that um, if an operator can't necessarily hear the cue they just push a button and then they'll get um, a, a visual cue as well um, and they also have a picture of our musical director down in the pit so that if there's a particular cue that comes off a beat in the music or uh, a particular lyric um, he can see exactly where that cue needs to go. Ghost the Musical arrives at Wolverhampton Grand Theatre on the 3rd of June for a two week stay. And you know, you do kind of see, you, you hear audiences coming out talking on Twitter or you hear them in the foyer and they're just like, how was that done? Um, so it's really exciting to be involved um, in part of that. 